We are on a nighttime hunt to find a leaf insect that has only been recorded in Singapore. Let's find about that in our little red jungle. Yeah! Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hello everyone! So we are here near the mangrove shorelines of Singapore and today we have Kenneth joining us. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes. So if you actually recognize his face, uh, we've actually collaborated in the Ubin Snake video and our Draco episode. Uh, but Kenneth, as you can see, the sky is very dark right now. So what on earth are we actually looking for today? So, so we are going to be looking for a leaf insect that has only been recorded and discovered in Singapore and nowhere else in the world. Yeah. So if you're ready, let's go. So leaf insects in general are nocturnal animals and they will usually camouflage and hide under the leaves in the daytime, which is why we are here at night. Yeah, so in Singapore, we have three species and the one we are looking for is the Christang leaf insect, which has only been recently discovered and described in 2017. And after three hours, we found, found it! it. As you can see, the body really is shaped like a leaf and the colours even match up the, the underside of the leaf. And as you can see, at the base of each leg, there's also this small leaflet-like shape and it really just helps the leaf insect blend in and look like it's part of the entire tree. Yeah, so that's actually part of your camouflage tactic and it's the result of the selection pressure over the million of years. And so, you know, and the young names are also known to sway with the wind, like a leaf in the wind. Yeah, and the whole point of camouflage is to help protect it from predators. And its predators are mostly birds. So it makes sense that this insect is nocturnal because most birds are diurnal, meaning they are active in the day. Yeah, so simply put, when they eat in the daytime, the birds will go out to hunt and they will hide. And in the night time, the birds will go to sleep and they will go out to start feeding. Yeah, hide, come out. Hide, they'll come out. <laughs> As mentioned, this leaf insect is a very recent discovery in Singapore. And earlier today, we actually managed to interview the very person who described and named it officially in a publication. And in the interview, he talked about the whole process of how you would actually name a new species. And I personally thought it was a very cool interview. So if you're ready, let's roll that tape. And here with us today is Dr. Francis. And he's the person who described and named the Chris Angst leaf insect. Say hi, Dr. Francis. Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> so we're gonna, maybe you wanna introduce yourself a little bit more? Well, um, as you've heard, I have been studying leaf insects and stick insects for many years, in fact, many decades now. Um, and leaf insects is actually very difficult to find here in Singapore. You know, and over the years, I have said that there are three species. Now, more and more, our research shows there might only actually be two species. And one of them has been known for a long time. Mm. You know, we call that Philium barculatum. And uh, one day I had a call from a good friend, you know, uh, Mr. Chris Ang. He said, hey, you know, we got a leaf insect here. You ought to come have a look at it. I said, yeah, sure, why not? And that's how we started on this uh, new leaf insect that's found in Singapore. Nice. Now, Dr. Francis, maybe you want to share with us this book that you have with, with you right now? Well, this is the 2017 book in which I describe uh, you know, film Chris Angi, and you can see here the, the female and the male. Yeah. And with this book, as I said to you, I described one new genera and three uh, new species of insects from Singapore. Yeah. So, was this the first publication with the Chris Angi leaf insect? Uh, uh, yes. This is the first uh, publication because the Chris Angi uh, leaf insect is first described in this publication. Yeah. What is like the process of describing a new species and then publishing it on paper? Well, you know. First of all, we got to ascertain that whatever we have in front of us is a new species. Now, this is where the dif difficulty comes. So, it's like, for example, you meet someone in the street. This guy looks familiar. Do I know him from school, from my neighborhood? You know, just an acquaintance, my neighbor. Very relatable, yes. How, how do I know? Have I ever met him before or haven't? Yeah. So, it's yeah. the same sort of process. So, first of all, we got to check our records, yeah. right? So if, if you dare not ask the guy, or the guy cannot tell you, <laughs> then you maybe you you, you, you go back. Yeah, you go back and check all your school magazine. You know, is this guy my classmate, or is he my form mate, or is he? You know, check your neighbor photographs and see if this guy met him before. Peek in the window. <laughs> yeah, 
So the process is in a way is similar. So yeah. when we see an insect, um, because it's through many years of knowledge also, right? Yeah. Of course, if you're very new, it's even more difficult. Uh, because we have been, or I have been involved in this for many decades, so therefore, it more or less instinctively know, and then I check the records easier for me. But basically what it means is that we have to check the records. Look at the papers, previous published papers on that genus. Then it's not so accurate also because there are people may have made some mistakes. Mm. So then we have to go back to the museums mm. where what we call the type specimens are located. Mm. Now also the problem is sometimes there's misdescription. Yeah. So the species may be described in another uh, genera. Mm. So that's why, you know, over years uh, we have been clearing up a lot of this problem. Then we call them synonyms, you know. Mm. So for example, your mother may call you Aka or your father call you, you know. <laughs> Alim. Alim or something, you know, or Akia, you know. So yeah, okay. yeah. So your friends will be confused. So are you mm. this one or that one? So this is a process. So once we have sorted out those things and we decide this is a new species, then basically we describe it. Mm. Okay, we say this is in this uh, genus mm. and, and then we say we give it a name. Mm. Now, naming an insect itself is up to the one who described. Yeah. You can name it, you know, you can name it after your best friend, your worst enemy, depending yeah. on what you like to do, or after the, after the area, or after, the, after the, what it looks like. Mm. So, there are many ways of doing it. Mm. Uh, there's no rules of naming, uh, except in the uh, international code. Eh? Mm of the zoological nomenclature, they, they say that the name must be pronounceable. Yeah. You cannot give a whole length of consonants. X, Y, Z, T, H, P, Q, Y. Then it's, it's irregular, you see. Yeah. So you have to... And then there are certain Latin rules be, uh, because scientific names are all um, in Latin. Mm. So there are rules concerning this. Mm. Uh, other than that, you can actually name it any way you want. Mm. Or after anything you want. Mm. Mm. So how did the Chris Ang's leaf insect got the name Chris Ang's yes, leaf insect? Yes, that, that's a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chris, of course, I've known for quite some time, you know, we have done some uh, photographic sessions together and he's told me that, hey, uh, in some of the, you know, mangrove uh, forests in Singapore, there's leaf insects. Yeah. And actually, uh, up to that time, uh, I myself have never actually seen one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my own uh, preoccupation was mainly in the forest, yeah. rather in the beach. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, he said, the next time I find one, I'll call you. Yeah. And he did. So one day, he, he, he found one very excited. He called me. He said, hey, this afternoon I saw a leaf insect. I said, okay, I want to go there straight away. Uh, you know, and, and uh, he actually uh, got it for me. And I actually bred it. And we got hold of the male, the female, uh, and the eggs and so forth. And that's how we realized, you know, this is a new species. Yeah. In fact, it's one of the larger leaf insects in this region. Nice. Yeah. And then that's how it became Chris Ang's leaf insect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. So uh, this is a word to those of you out there. You find new things, call me <laughs> if you want it to name after you. Yeah. <laughs> so what is so special about leaf insect and how do we continue to see them in Singapore? Well, you know, the, another feature of leaf insects as well as many stick insects is that they are very fussy eaters. Mm. Mm. You cannot just throw them, you know, on any plant or grass, you know, mm. or any plant in your garden, expect them to eat. Mm. They are very, very fussy. They are religious, actually. They mm. only eat certain plants, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, uh, that they like. Yeah. If you put them on a plant that they don't like, they rather f just stuff to them. Yeah. So, uh, and that's why uh, we want to discourage people from catching these things and trying to uh, keep them at home because most of the plants you feed them, they will not take. Yeah. And then they'll just die off. Yeah. Uh, so I think. We have to conserve the areas where these insects are found. That's mm. mangrove, you know, beachside areas. Mm. But also, um, uh, we will discourage people from catching these things, mm. you know, unless you are, uh, you know, really working uh, to conserve these insects, yeah. you know, with with end parks, mm. uh, with uh, the authorities concerned. Mm. Uh, and also, um, these insects really is now in the entomology world mm. people know these insects as related to singapore yeah so it's very important for us to continue to have uh, chris ang leaf insect present in yeah. singapore thank yeah. you very much thank, thank you okay hold with 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 chris ah <laughs> okay selfie selfie you always okay, selfie man <laughs> uh, selfie selfie
Okay, it's getting really late, as you can see it's very dark uh, and I'm just really glad that we're able to find the Chris Ang's leaf insect, right? But we're not even done teaching you all about it yet because we have part 2 on Kenneth's channel. So Kenneth, what exactly can we learn from your video? So actually we will touch on more topics like the chasiotimorphism and maybe the life stages. We also have a second interview with the founder of the leaf insect himself, the Chris Ang. Yeah, but before you go, I would like to give a big thank you to Chris Ang and Dr. Francis for coming onto our channels for the interviews. And also a big shout out to our patrons. Spotman, Sky Baby, Ingle, Ping Hu Master, Just Juice, Gel Block Tango, Amal Dillo, Crooked Spider, and Low Eli, and Big Three Circles. Thank you once again for supporting this channel directly. And if you'd like to do so, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Uh, if not, you can still subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. And thank you for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled! Because you're a jungle out there! Oh, and there's a leaf insect around you! Bye-bye.